Hey guys, I want to create a quick video on a question that I recently had. How long does it take to fix a fatty liver? Okay. Well, it really depends on three things. Number one, how chronic it has been. How long have you eaten bad foods for your entire life? Or was this just a recent thing? Or how long have you been drinking? So we have to factor in your past. Number two, how extensive or how bad it is. Has, is it so bad that your entire liver is filled with fat? Um, are you developing scar tissue as in cirrhosis? Do you have a chronic viral thing which is causing hepatitis? So those are all things that you have to look at as well. And then number three, how perfect or how good is your current diet? Okay, Are you doing it partially? Are you sort of doing it on the weekends? So these are the things that um, you'd want to look at. Um, the longer it's been there, the longer it takes. It could take up to three years. But realize that you would have to be consistent, being, eating very, very healthy every single day for a period of three years. Now, the actual fat in the liver could go away within months, okay? But that doesn't mean the liver is 100%. There's other factors. There's the structure of the um, hepatocyte, which is the, the, the liver cells that actually do the work. And that takes time to get those to work um, a lot better. So the type of keto that you need to do is called healthy ketosis. Uh, I put a link down below for more information about that, but hands down, that's going to be the best thing for your liver. You don't want to do the high carb diet for a bad liver. You want to do keto, low sugar, low carb, and a lot of vegetables and moderate protein. Healthy ketosis is not a high protein diet. Okay. So because large amounts of protein could strain the liver. Uh, you want to do more organic food, definitely. More cruciferous vegetables, for sure. Fermented vegetables. Do things to improve your gut, your flora, your friendly bacteria. Um, you definitely want to do intermittent fasting because that's, that's going to take a lot of stress off the liver. And intermittent fasting is vital because it takes the stress off your liver. Every time you eat, you kind of stress the digestive system. So if we do intermittent fasting, we give the liver a chance to fully heal. And you want to work up to... Um, about a 20 hour fast in a four hour eating window, ideally, because that's going to put you in a state of um, recycle mode where your cells are going to recycle uh, old damaged proteins, okay, and you'll create a lot of healing in the liver. It's called autophagy. Choline is a real key uh, nutrient for the liver, especially for a fatty liver. You, it actually is lipotrophic, it helps to strip off the fat from a fatty liver. I would also recommend taking the entire vitamin B complex with it in the form of nutritional yeast. Okay, But put the choline in there. You can get it in a tablet or a powder, and um, this will greatly speed up the results. All right. Thanks for watching. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide. Major updates on the body types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to The Healthy Keto Plan. Okay. If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever want to know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, 
there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you within 45 minutes learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.